bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit. Hello, everyone. This is Monica Ramirez, Warrior of Love, and you're in Soul Talk. And today we have someone that I've been following for a long, long time. That she is a very, very special person, beside of the interviews that she do in her own podcast. But uh, as, uh, today, uh, we're pre I'm presenting you with some ones you already know. And the ones that I don't know, she is Kat, uh, Kathy Manson. She's a best-selling author and speaker, host of the Creative Conscience Business Zone, an online sales specialist who works in conscious companies and help them grow. She's a psychic and intuitive, and, and she sees the soul mission and help and, uh, you create her own vision and, and the now. So let's ask her to explain us a little bit more who she is. Okay. She's <laughs> the, my bio is hard to read. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me so much. This is really such an honor to be here. My uh, joy currently has been to do Conscious Business Zone, which is a way, it's a way for me to launch some of the fantastic people I've worked with over the past years. I've been working as a conscious business marketing and business development person for 22 years. And um, because I love working with magical people, I want to let the world know about them. Uh, this is a time that all of these people and their incredible magic can help turn everything around. And so um, I started Conscious Business Zone three years ago, and I do it twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> and I didn't even have to look outside my regular um, group for almost two years because I knew so many people that were so cool and I couldn't wait to talk to them. And um, so that's one way. Uh, it's uh, usually the easiest way to find that um, my show is in, it's now going to be on Roku and Amazon TV, Fire TV, and it's a, turning into a podcast. But Uh, YouTube is probably the easiest way for people to find it. And what you'll find is that these are people that are tremendous resources for us going through these big changes. Um, everyone is really trying to figure it out. And between the physical um, changes that we're all going through and then the emotional releases that we're all going through, Um, the conscious business owner really needs the, the, uh, the definition of a conscious business owner is someone who's a servant leader. And so they serve their employees as much as they serve their customers. And what I wanted to do is find a way to serve them <laughs> so that they would have all the energy and the momentum and the great inspiration connection to who they are in order to to uh, lead so yeah. as uh, i yes i totally understand that because it is very hard to be coaching and healing and working with energies and receiving messages and everything and at the same time creating a business because we still have to pay the bills we're still living in a 3d where is the, the energy is kind of dense the where we have to Uh, survive and not many people understand that they think that the gifts are just automatically the light bill is paid <laughs> no no i i think what's the difference with um what the people that i work with and that uh, that i'm seeing is the people that are getting the downloads like you and i both get a lot of information but we don't act on all of it 
And so these are the people that have uh, worked on themselves to have clear information coming through from their highest knowing and then put it into action. And that's where um, I, I think that's the exciting part. It's not a job. It's actually a game. It's fun. So, so that's the difference. These people, the joy is the key to find really what your, what your gift is, how you best can share it, how you can best um, enjoy the ride, the journey while you're learning. And that's the other part is I think, um, you know, I, I can tell you what I know, but I'm still learning and growing. And I think that's the, you know, the people that are scientific or they're real left-brained and they have their, they have their world figured out and it's in kind of a formula. Um, I like that idea, but I like to spring up from that. I, I think that stability of that idea, their worldview is really good. And that may be part of their gift is to have that worldview. But then past that, we're, we're divine beings here to co-create with the universe at a high level. And that's where that inspiration comes in. And, and it isn't a fearful thing like, oh, I better do it because source told me to. <laughs> I mean, the, People have said that too, <laughs> but I don't think it's that. I, I'm still learning and I really, each person I talk to, I learn from. But at the same time, everybody's still learning. The same universe is still expanding. So everybody's expanding and learning at the same time. We're learning more things about ourselves. Every right. day every day is a new adventure. Of, of this, is, this is when it becomes fun to be alive. What, what the other thing I'd like to share about this whole process, because I, I'm finding my memory a lot of times is slower because my memory of the past is back in 3D and I'm working from 5D. And so I'll see someone's face and I can't remember. I can remember their first name, but I can't remember their last name. And it, it comes. It comes eventually. You have to kind of ask for the Rolodex to, to come, but but the everything in this, it seems like it's all in the now, 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 now. And the synchronicities and the opportunities are off the charts exciting. They're, they're, we're in, we're in a, a fantastic time. Something that I, I came to understand that more that we're trying to focus on the past it is not to help us to understand our present right so, or thinking also in the future it just brings us anxiety and what is going to happen what is going on and for the seers like you that is a different story and different experience and 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 some people know what is a seer some people uh is the first time hearing it for our listeners, can you explain a little bit what is a seer and what is the advantage of, of that? Of oh. being? Well, um, the in my experience, so I can't speak for everyone else's, um, and I have tried to study others, um, people's way of doing it, but I, I integrate it just as words. What happens is if you're empathic and highly sensitive, a lot of times you are um, gifted with seeing a bigger picture. So it's almost like you're looking from a bird's eye view from the higher mind. And in, in many cases, you'll get a feeling or a knowing. I remember being a little girl and thinking and maybe even saying out loud, but I learned not to talk about it. Um, was don't they know what that will do? Don't they know what that choice will do? Because you could almost see the pieces of the puzzle put together and their journey would change from that choice, but they couldn't see it and no one else could either around me. 
what I what I do a lot now is I get to open up um, a, a different dimension and work with your soul in a business sense. I, I don't do very many just personal readings, but I do it as far uh, as part of my marketing uh, projects. And we actually see a movie of your best timeline and how to fulfill it. So it's actually in full color. Uh, a lot of times the milestones that you have on your way to the future um, appear. They might be courses or, or programs or projects like a, a might be a movie or, you know, depending on the person I'm talking with, um, uh, they'll, they'll show us vignettes and then they give me the energy to actually manifest it here if if the person chooses what happens it's amazing people uh usually it opens their crown chakra a lot because people start crying um i had a doctor rub his head several times and go what are you doing to me what are you doing to me it's like and and i'm not really when i'm doing these readings i'm not really totally present um i'm sitting a it's like I'm on a park bench above and their soul is coming through and I'm just the translator. And that's the only handicap is trying to find the words to explain the feelings or the vignettes you're seeing. Um, so that, that's been interesting. I did a reading a couple of days ago and about a week ago, excuse me, um, and he had two souls, and we integrated his two souls, and um, and he's just thrilled. I mean, his energy. The when people have conflict like that, discordant energies, they're using all their their creative energy just to just to <laughs> show up. <laughs> well, that's that's hard. So we integrated his two souls, but that isn't normally what I get to do. I normally am helping people get their work out their their special gifts out in the world. That is that is very important because the majority of the human, I believe, every single human being, aware or not, they're always in the search that there's got to be something bigger. That that's why they're here. Mm -hmm. Why is the purpose of, of life? And I believe everybody's searching for that since that's why they contact us. Uh, because they always wanted to know why they're here. Why, why is the biggest purpose of that? And, uh, and, I, and I have seen people that they have the, that duality in themselves so marked, like two souls that like you mentioned. And, uh, but that is not very common. Mm -hmm. That is... Does, do you encounter many people like that? Um, actually, I have. Um, I um, since I've had this uh, this gift since I was eight. I, I'm totally aware of it at eight. Um, I've been in lots of environments where I saw people before they saw themselves, and so um, yeah, I've seen. Uh, I have one author that we published three of his books that he had um, multiple, multiple souls that were had to be integrated. So, so yeah, I, I think everyone's on their, it's a very interesting journey. Uh, it's very creative. And the joy of it is finding that thing that really is your gift and sharing it. Because right now there isn't anything more important. We're we're in this huge time of change. We definitely want to embody as much of our soul and our soul's light in these physical vessels during these changes and clear out any of the uh, the shadow work, the obstructions that we can to not being present because in this time of change, there's going to be a lot of disclosure that's going to rock people. And the energies from the great central sun, that are, the photonic energy is going to make 
almost everyone empathic. Yes. And they're going to really, there's going to be a need for a lot of these new leaders, new teachers, new guides that are all heart based. Um, it's a different model than the past 20 to 50 years where there's been the guru type of environment. This is somebody else that's in full service. They're, they're not asking you to be in service to them. This is the people I'm working with are the new teachers, the new guides. And, and I think we can't have enough of them. I, I wish... I, I wish I was working it with a huge team. I do have a nice team that I work with, but um, I, I wish there was a gazillion of us um, because when the truth is revealed and if people are holding on to the old, the programming that they grew up with, um, like follow this path and everything will be perfect, um, it's just not going to be that way. It's we're in huge change. Yeah, that was the time of the gurus, when everybody were needing a leader to tell them what to think and feel and so forth. And that was part of the program, and it worked, function then. And that's why they're priests and ministers and so on. So they were the gurus for certain people, as well, right. like that. Right. But in the new new time that is now. That is not acceptable because we have to be our own gurus. We have to be following ourselves and, and start listening to us. And that part, people are having issues to understand how important it is to start learning about themselves so they can do the shadow work. Right, right. Well, I, we were taught that it was selfish. So um, you don't want to be self-centered or selfish. And as a woman, we were, we were programmed, which I, it is still my joy to do things for people. And to, uh, I'm a mom and a grandma. Um, I'm, there, there's a lot of joy to all of that, but that can't be the only thing here. We, we stood in line to get these bodies to be here right now to be part of this change. And if you're part of the, the um, if you have a piece of the puzzle that is going to help a lot of people on their journey to waking up to who they really are, um, there's going to be a lot of students, <laughs> a lot of students very soon, right? Yes, and we can see it right now more and more that people that do not, the word is spirituality, it is became a woo-woo. It's like, oh, you're or a seer or a psychic or medium or channeler. It's still a woo-woo for many people. But they don't understand. They're understanding that now they're finally getting guided. And they don't know what to do with that because in their mind, in their old program, it is that is woo-woo, that is that is prohibited. But they're starting to realize that they're having it themselves. Right. That's right. why. Uh, that's why it is important to get guidance for that right. to understand what is your how to use those gifts for themselves. I I think we're going um, full circle for some of the indigenous people. Um, we're very close to the land. Uh, the earth is our our mother. It it, it is a conscious being, and um, religion and government tried to change our relationship um, and make us the master of our mother. <laughs> and um, so all of those boundaries and barriers to being actually fully, fully embodied and who you really are um, have been, those contracts are going to leave. They may take a little while, maybe 20 years um, before all of it happens. Um, some people are saying there'll be two Earths, you know, the, there'll be the 3D and the 5D. Uh, I'm, I'm not even thinking about it that way. I think every human, you wouldn't be here embodied if you weren't a divine being. So it's just whether, how far, how curious you are about that. There's always a misconception about dimensions. And people do not understand that it's just a state of conscience. 
and you can be living in a seven uh, in the seven uh, dimension in this in the same plane as people with the third com uh, dimension. Let's put it yeah. like that. It's yeah. like you know, confusing, but your mind and your conscience already expanded. Your soul, you're having a very different experience in life than the person in the 3D. Right, right. And and um, <coughs> I just want to recommend it. <laughs> it's so much more fun. I mean, I think that's really what we're talking about is, is are you living a life of joy and feeling like you are making a difference? If you want to do that and you're not right now, there's a path to that. Um, and that's where Monica could do a reading. Um, if you have a business, the, a lot of the people that come to me have tried to launch their business through, um, they've written books or they've uh, tried to launch their business before and weren't successful. And so they come to me and people find me from all over the world. Um, um, and it's, it's a resonance where I can actually see them and help them create their wish fulfilled, really. Yes, I, I do. I, it is about resonance. When you are ready, there is an old saying that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And the same applies for your guidance. And uh, yes, we have guidance, so, so a spiritual guidance that all around us all the time, but also for our physical, having the experience of physical body in this human life, we sometimes we need to have interaction with another human being exactly. that have that. Um, I think also that um, a lot of people need, and I sometimes do, need validation. So it's, it's like, I got this. Is it true? And, you know, should I? So, so a lot of times, this is the big picture. The big picture is that everything is here for you. And we get so worried. Here's the fork in the road. You can go the, this side or that side. And actually, either choice will lead you to the right thing. But we get so stuck and we're almost frozen. That's, that's been um, the, the, the thing that needs to happen now is for us to get unstuck, to realize it's safe to come out and play and, and to co-create this new world that we want. We're very powerful beings. We're so powerful. We created all this. If we don't like it, we can create it anew. Yes, that's why we get stuck because we get in our comfortable zone. And and the change it is scary for many people instead right. of just trying to that there's a guide. And the word of surrendering, even when I guide meditations, I some I use a lot of the, the word surrendering because I work with myself. But I understand that many people is like, oh, I can't surrender. How about if something is going to happen? And that's when the fears start climbing on them. And that word of surrendering for them is too much, even to use. Or, oh, that guided meditation, it was terrible because they were asking me for surrendering. Well, see, you're surrendering your ego, yes. not your spirit. So they're... they're there are components that are um, brilliantly designed. Whoever designed this whole game <laughs> did an incredible job. At least I, I want to compliment, compliment them on my job, <laughs> my life. Um, what, what they did is they created the ego as the protector for your physical body. But what we're talking about now is physical and spiritual and the spiritual connection is the whole reason you're here is to be a cell of the earth and help the earth ascend while you're experiencing the highest perspective of you once you go to the spiritual side the body will of the ego will be um 
peaceful, I guess is the right word. That's, that's the been this whole fear, fear time period has really caused people to um, have high contrast. And the high ca- contrast is the opportunity to see what you really believe and what really makes your heart sing. That there's um, even the male, female, I mean, there's everything. Everything has this, this polarity. And what, what if all of it's perfect? What, what, and what if all of this was designed for you to be the observer of to see to see how you can play the game better. <laughs> I believe that's one of the reasons why you can become the seer. And I believe everybody can do it. We're not more special than anyone else. Why? Because when you become the observer and you're observing everything, the only way you can do that is if you remove the ju- remove the judgment. And that's where it gets us stuck as human beings. That's right. Judgment. And that, that creates the duality and the difference of everything, female, male. But when we're in the spirit, we don't have that. Right. It doesn't matter what, what color, race, gender, or culture, or anything. Because at the end, it, for the people, it's so hard to understand that oh. part. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I think that's the joy. Once you get past the judgments, that's the delight. Because if 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 this is a game designed by the um, in the super intelligent universe, if you want to call it that, or source, or God, whatever name you want to use, they they've. Every single character, even the person standing next to you at the grocery store, has a purpose in your game. So, so all of a sudden, it's like, what can I learn, or what is this? So, how you know, how is the universe for me, not against me? That's that's the key to living in this time period, and I don't think that people that are holding on to their 401k and all their investments and all of their assets and everything that they were told to do by their great grandparents, um, that world is going to be changing a lot. And if they're staying into, oh, I feel secure because of that, um, they're going to find they're not secure at all because that's where the big changes are going to be and in the financial system in government in church in religions um i I interviewed uh, neil donald walsh who wrote the conversations with god for my conscious business zone and he said there's over four thousand religions on the earth and they all have a different idea of god Yes, like no that. wonder I, why we're so confused. <laughs> I think that we're thinking in a different God. But also I have read and heard many, many times that actually you go to the, we go to the Bible. There were many gods, in fact, and there was not only one God in the same Christian or Catholic, whatever you want to call it, Christian Catholic Bible. We're talking about Jehovah, Allah, etc., and it's different beings. Right, right. And so that's why the energy is different. Yeah, I I think that's where the indigenous um, can help us a lot. If you go back to the uh, the teachings and the mystery schools, the ancient mystery schools, they realized that um, that we were that we were created. Um, by ETs, and that we have a lot of star system um, interconnectivity. And that's part of what I'm talking about is the disclosure that I think is going to happen is um, the ETs are, are more and more and more visible every day. And um, once their propulsion, their free energy <laughs> information comes out, 
our whole economy changes because we won't be oil based. We won't be fossil fuel based at all. Do you so think the governments are going to actually disclose that? I, well, I, I, I don't think they can hold it much longer. I, I think, well, this is just my opinion. I, I, I work with the Octarians. I, I have since I was a little girl. Um, and I don't think they can then, huh. We, part of what we're doing is we're changing from the, um, Piscean age to the Aquarian age. The Aquarian age is a time of peace. So we have to go to, uh, everything has to be redone because we nothing in what we've created right now is peaceful or fair. Nothing is. So the banking industry, the uh, medical industry, the religious, n- everything's a hierarchy. So, and this may take, a hundred years, you know, it, it, it's not going to happen overnight, but what, that's what I'm referring to. The, the first disclosure I think is going to be the UFOs and um, that we are being, that we have galactic family that wants us to be part of the galactic um, uh, organizations. And what's happened is I saw the internet, When it first started in 95, 94, 95, I see it as stepping stones to telepathy. Mm -hmm. That now we can contact people, but we can also send it that way. But we have to be very clear. That's where if you're in fear or in judgment, you cannot be telepathic and um, have the message received very well. (laughs) So because you're in fear, you're also attracting that kind of energy because you're opening the door to that conscience, that state of conscience, because that's what it is. Right, right. Well, like attracts like. So so it's a law of um law of attraction, which I just interviewed someone yesterday on that. And uh he was wonderful. But but it's the truth. Um by frequency, your spiritual life isn't necessarily religious it's spiritual and that's um another part of this that um you are a divine being and we just forgot we just forgot we just we just saw the other possibilities and distractions and other things to do instead of working on the connection from your heart um, to others. And, and it's time for all of that to change. So, so we're in a huge, there, there couldn't be any, well, I, I imagine that every philosopher since the beginning of time has said that their time was full of the most change. But I would, <laughs> I think we're really in for it. And I'm, I'm excited about it. That's why I want to help as many people as I can to get visible because they have a piece of the puzzle. That, that is true. Oops, my cat. Uh, I want to uh, go back to something that you said that I believe that is, I have this question. You do remember Dolores Cannon. I believe the majority of at least the listeners know who Dolores Cannon was. Uh-huh. And uh, in the convoluted universe, she talked about the extras. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, that's why I want to go back to something. Okay. Like- okay. Even an extra will have something for you. Okay. So the extras, um, I love all of this work. Um The extras are, for the people that don't know Dolores Cannon, the extras are what she calls the the set that you may be in when you go to the airport or you go to the grocery store of people that don't talk much, but they're present. And what she said is that the, the universe configures them into these these people places things in your set 
And then as soon as you leave, it moves on and configures to something else for someone else, which is fascinating. Um, I still think whatever is in that set is for part of your um, growth. It is for you. But, but I do know, I have experienced that before. I've been in an airport and there was only, and I could tell the energy signatures of only a handful of people in the whole airport. I have asked this question to my guides because it was confusing to understand and grasp that. <laughs> it's big. Uh, when I heard it from Dolores, I was like, okay, I can't understand it. So I started asking, I've been asking all this time about that. <laughs> Because I still can see the energy of them. It is different, but there are people that, that are not actually aware of their presence, of the present moment. They're still in the program. Let's put it like that. If we go to the matrix, they're still in the, pro in the program. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But they can shift that energy because I have encountered later on the same person and now asking questions. Well, but they still, they may not have been, um, they may not have been a fabrication then. The fabrications that she's talking about aren't necessarily soul, don't necessarily have a soul. They're, they're like a set. Like in a, if you were in a play and there was a beautiful background and a table and plants and and um, uh, other things that are made to make it feel like it, you're in someone's living room, that's a set. And that's what she's talking about is that the, they're inanimate. Um, I mean, they may, they, they, it's still God energy. It's still source energy, but it's configured so that you have a perspective in your 3D. But but what was interesting is as soon as you leave, it can re it 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 doesn't transmute. It turns into something else, <laughs> and that you have to know the games being played at such a different level. Yes, because we're creating this the reality where we're living in the moment, and we can transform it at the same time. Or that's the question. Or can we jump to a different reality because the quantum jumping exists at the same time? You or are in it. You are in multiple realities all at the same time. You may not choose to be aware of it. Yes. But you are, um, you as a multidimensional being are not just here. And, you know, some of these concepts are really hard to um you feel them, but you may not be able to articulate them. And it's because they expand. It's like you're a fractal and you start looking at a bigger image of the same image, which is also a fractal. And um, you may not have words. You may just have experience of it. So, but, but I don't know when I said before that, you know, I'll try to remember somebody's name and it's I'm I'm somewhere else and that information's down here. That's happening all the time. That's what you're doing when you when you Monica, when you do a reading, you're reading from the higher, higher perspective of that person. So so I, I think we all can do it. I don't know. Um, I think you have to, hmm, how do I explain this? There's, for people that are just starting, it's a journey to understand it. So there isn't fear about it. Because there would be, if, if this was brand new to you, and you had never tried or experienced it, having someone hold your hand as you learn how to engage with more of you, um, and clear anything that's um, reducing the frequency that allows you to embody it. 
we came here to, and we are here to embody our soul light. That's, that's the assignment, if there is one. Yes, because or else it will create many fears. And that's why there are many coaches. So like that, they can guide you. And, and this woo-woo part that they call it, it will stop being a woo-woo when you're starting understanding. And I'm not going to say that it's not. Even the warriors from our history, when they went to battle, they went with their fear, but they just confront their fears. That's the only difference between them and us, that we still have to go to our battle with our shield on. So like that, we know it's like, oh, we're safe. Nothing happens. <laughs> right. Well, we are that too. We've been, if, if we are experiencing all our time, all of our existence all in the same timeline, um, that's how people can do past life regressions. Um, we've been that. We've been that warrior. We've been that um, woman that was burned at the stake. We've been, we've been all of these other beings um, and had those experiences and whether or not we can integrate them. That's where people like Monica can really help um, when you want to get integrated because that allows you to experience more. Yes, I, I do agree in that part. And have you noticed also that the memories from who you were are coming back stronger and you're embodying it? Even it was, I don't know, from the 1400s or 1300s, but you're more embodying it, that, that being that you were, at um, least the knowledge. I don't know. I haven't done that much past life experience. What I've been doing is working on getting rid of um, shadow. Any because um, basically, any experience, any lifetime where you died dramatically or you weren't prepared to die, is stuck in this physical vessel. It's still here. Okay. So I I don't always know what uh, I know what I'm clearing, but I don't know when it happened. So, so I, I haven't done that much with past life work. Um, but, but anyway, but I, there's so many incredible people that can help people. There's so many incredible people that can help people with being an empath and highly sensitive. There's, there's just all these amazing people that have processes and easy to use tools that um, in a very short time period, you can change your whole state. And that, that's what I, I'm excited about is getting all of those tools out to people right now. Yes, uh, I do agree. There, there are so many techniques right now, so many uh, modalities right now that it, even if you wanted to learn all of them, like before I, I felt like there wasn't just a few, like, yes, you have Reiki and yes, you have shamanism, yes, you have this, you have that, but there were just a few. But now it is impossible, I believe, in a lifetime to learn everything that they have created now. There are yes. so many tools and there are coaches for everything, things that you can't even imagine. You are going to hear it now. <laughs> what, what I think is um, what... There, there are at minimum 58 different species of humans that are uh, intergalactic hybrids. And so I think from, from what I know, each one of these beings have the origin recipes for their people. So there's, uh, I have a, a dear, dear friend, um, Catherine Parker, who does this, this process, um, resonance alchemy that she got 25 years ago, or more, maybe longer from the Palladians. And so uh, anyone who recognizes themselves as Palladians, it's like, whoops, there's, there's their, 
their healing modality and and it, it she can cure she's cured cancer all sorts of things with it so so i mean i think that each being sort of finds their their origin that's how you know you're in resonance you kind of feel like i know i recognize that frequency that light language that art that sound whatever it is and it feels like home and so I want to find out more about them. So, so there's so many different beings here. We could never, no one's in competition with anyone else. There's plenty of work to do. And there's plenty of opportunity to, um, to grow right now and, and have some fun. Come on, you guys, we're supposed to be here to have some fun. <laughs> Yes, and play with our own magic. <laughs> That's the fun part to be in these times alive, and we know we're not gonna get burned in this state. <laughs> well, well, even if if I am to do that, I am to do that. But I know I'll come back and do something else. Uh, I don't think um, once you get out of the fear matrix, once you get out of that program. It's um, it, it might creep in every once in a while because you you can't stay away from the news or or something. I mean, it's it's so um, heavy. <clears throat> but once you get out, it's such a different experience here. It's like, oh, what do I get to do today? And how can I co-create with all these other divine beings that want to play? And that's that that's where the joy is for me yes i i totally agree with you oh my god this has been a such an amazing conversation and i can talk for hours and hours with you it is really really my pleasure as but would you but we have to end it very soon would you have something else that you would like to add well, the only thing I would like to add is that I really want to remind everyone how powerful they are. We've forgotten how powerful we are, but we created, co-created this world. We co-created this whole universe. And once you can get to that excitement, then the anything can happen we can change what we have here we're in transition so enjoy the ride and if they're a, a healer or a spiritual people or something like that or they just wanted to know what are their gifts they can contact you sure, so they, sure. What's the path? yeah at um, masonworksmarketing.com and I do meet, I do have a, a free session to meet with you to see if we're a match. I test on everything to see if I'm supposed to, if I'm the right person to help you. So, so um, I'm happy to meet with people and see, see what, what gifts they have. And if I'm not the right person, try to guide them to the right person. Yes, not everybody is meant to work with the same person. We, are, we have different vibrations and everybody has their own coach or their own. Well, I have to say, I, I test. Um, I was working with some people and then I tested and they said no, because we were going to go to the next level. And they, it, my, my sense said, nope not now, or I didn't even hear it as not now, it's just nope. And then after this two-year two, two year lockdown, it was, yep, call them. You're, you're supposed to help them now. So I don't, you know, I don't question anything. I, I really, I've trusted the guidance I've gotten since I was a little girl more than I've trusted this. <laughs> yeah. So So I still am going with that. Yes, that applies for everything. And well, but we learn also from our mistakes and we learn from our, we only learn from our mistakes. We don't learn too much from our successes as uh, human. Uh, well, the excitement is that the best is yet to come. 
you guys, the the light is already won, and we're just in the transition period to have that all the the new paradigm um, be developed and embodied here. So you can be a big part of it if you so choose. Yes, that is true. So thank you, Monica. You're a big part of it. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. And if this resonates with you or you think that you can help someone else sharing this video, please do. This is Monica Ramirez, Warrior of Love. And thank you for being in Soul Talk. Thank you. Step back